Automotive photography isn't for everyone. The fast motors port events and the harsh requirements of obtaining skill shots of a car mean that not every photographer is well equipped for the job. Along with a skilled photographer comes a purpose-built camera, and not every camera is suitable for shooting cars on a racing track. You need a lightning-fast autofocus system, a fast shutter speed, and a powerful sensor, whereas your camera must be compatible with a wide-angle zoom lens. Our list of the best cameras for car photography includes some great cameras by reliable manufacturers that promise a powerful performance along with a wide range of suitable functions. Links to all cameras will be in the description, you can check them for the latest prices and more information. Starting our list with Nikon D7500 DX format DSLR. Having a tight budget does not mean that you should settle for a low-quality camera and sacrifice your need for a powerful DSLR. The Nikon D7500 DX format digital SLR is an ideal enthusiast-level camera that offers a wide range of features at half the price. Significantly lighter than the Nikon D7200, carrying the DSLR becomes much easier. However, the decrease in weight doesn't mean that it lacks a power-packed performance. The solid weatherproof body features a pronounced hand grip and soft texture coatings for secure yet comfortable handling. Instead of a metering mode button, there is a dedicated ISO button right next to the exposure compensation control, which makes it easier to adjust the settings. There are several other tweaks in the layout to enhance the overall accessibility. Armed with a 51-point autofocus system, D7500 delivers a decent performance in terms of accuracy and speed. It's nowhere near its rivals, but expecting a more advanced system from a camera at this price is quite unfair. There is a group area autofocus mode that offers enhanced subject detection and tracking with five autofocus fields for background isolation. When paired with the incredible 180,000 pixel RGB sensor, D7500 manages to deliver decent frame coverage and reliable tracking performance. Further on, the camera delivers an 8 FPS shooting speed, while the new XSpeed 5 image processor allows Nikon to produce up to 50 RAW files. The 180,000 pixel RGB sensor handles metering and white balance, too, and does a pretty great job at delivering stunning exposures and natural warmth, regardless of the lighting conditions. Nikon includes an ENEL15 a battery that lasts for around 950 shots before giving up, but does a better job than several other high-end batteries. There's no harm in appreciating the sensor once again, as the image results are excellent. Regardless of the decrease in the pixel count, you get great results at ISO levels as low as 100. The results display an exemplary level of detail, and it only gets better as you start ramping up the ISO however, you may notice subtle hints of chromatic noise once you reach ISO 12800. Old is gold, and Nikon D7500 doesn't prove otherwise. This strong all-rounder DSLR is not only affordable, but comes with a powerful sensor, 4K video resolution, and a decent 8 frames per second burst shooting speed. However, there is slight room for improvement in the autofocus system. At number 2 it's Canon 80D Digital SLR Camera. Canon 80D is an incredible option for those who want to upgrade from their entry-level DSLRs to a camera with some more substance. The array of advanced features allow enthusiasts to shoot under a variety of conditions. Users appreciated the well-designed layout of Canon 70D, thus, Canon 80D kept the layout the way it originally was. Even though it's not quite as big as other DSLRs, we didn't face any issues with handling in terms of comfort and security. Talking about the layout, most of the buttons are on the top plate or the right side for easier access. Fortunately, users get an upgraded touchscreen LCD control for speeding up the process of choosing their desired settings. Moreover, the 3-inch 1,040,000-dot ClearView 2 screen delivers a highly detailed view. Everyone loves a high-resolution sensor because they display an impressive level of detail, but there's an issue. The smaller photoreceptors apply more gain, which results in image degradation. Fortunately, Canon's 24.2-megapixel sensor comes with an additional 25% pixel count for higher resolution and limited image noise. As a result, Canon has firm control over image noise, even at ISO 16000. A camera is nothing without its autofocusing system. Fortunately, ADD includes a great autofocus system that doesn't waste any time locking onto the desired subject, regardless of the speed. Moreover, it performs pretty well under low-light conditions too. There is a 45-point automatic selection option, divided into 9 zones, with an advanced color detection system that works well throughout your shooting session. Just select the zone, and you're good to go. Moving on, ADD consists of an incredible metering system with an A7560 pixel RGB plus IR sensor, and several metering options, including 63 zone evaluative mode, center weighted mode, and spot metering mode. We weren't disappointed by the performance, but you may need to apply for exposure compensation in high contrast images. As an enthusiast photographer, Canon 80D is a great choice for you. 
This well-built camera features a great control layout, a wide range of reliable functions, along with a powerful performance. The highly detailed image quality at lower sensitivities is something you'd surely not want to miss. At number 3 it's Sony A7 full-frame mirrorless camera. Knowing Sony, they always strive to amaze their customers with clever innovations and reliable performance. Sony Alpha A7 is one of the first few compact cameras with a full-frame sensor, helping Sony live up to its reputation. Sony did a wonderful job of maintaining the size of the camera despite having a full-frame sensor. There is a deep grip that makes it easier to operate the camera single-handedly. A7 doesn't break any style records, but the simple layout is appealing to minimalists. Most of the buttons are on the right-hand side, with a mode dial on the top plate that allows you to switch between various exposure settings. However, our favorite feature is the level of customization offered to customers. There are three C buttons for this specific purpose, while you may adjust the other functions accordingly. A7 redefined our perception of mirrorless technology with its content innovations and the urge to offer the best of each feature. Sony A7 utilizes the same base sensor as Alpha 99, thus, we knew that it won't disappoint us. Despite the low price, the images boast an incredible level of detail with beautiful color representation. They are bright, but not overflowing with vibrancy, while the skies and skin tones look natural. However, Sony offers picture effects or creative styles for those who prefer a different color output, such as vivid, black, or white. Moving on, A7 features a decent metering system. The all-purpose model delivers great performance, and you may hardly feel the need to adjust the exposure. Similarly, its auto white balance system manages to deliver natural results regardless of the lighting condition. A7's autofocus system isn't the one we'd remember for years, but it works pretty well in terms of precision and speed, as long as you're working in good lighting conditions. Fortunately, the full-frame sensor helps to control chromatic noise at low sensitivities. We hardly noticed any hints of chromatic noise up to ISO 6400. Moreover, the dynamic range optimizer produces well-balanced exposures to make your images look realistic. Sony Alpha A7 may get a beginner's best bet considering the affordable price and pocket-friendly size. Not only is it a great traveling companion, but it offers a range of features, including a full-frame sensor for a great shooting experience. At number 4 it's a Nikon D3500 DSLR camera. Beginners often feel intimidated by the complex functions of DSLR cameras. All they want is an easy user interface, and there's nothing better than investing in Nikon D3500. Nikon 3500 went through a major design upgrade compared to its predecessor, and closely resembled D5600. The large pronounced grip seems perfect for holding the camera comfortably, and perfectly balances the much heavier cameras. However, it's lightweight and compact to minimize any hassle while traveling. The streamlined array of controls with a fully exposed command dial makes it easy for users to take advantage of several features. Nikon D3500 incorporates the same old 11-point multicam 1000 autofocusing system. It provides great viewfinder coverage and works perfectly while focusing on stationary objects. You can make the most of the autofocus system by using an AFP 18 to 55mm f3.5 to 5.6 GVR kit lens. However, there won't be any issues with other lenses. Focusing is nice and brisk under great lighting with minimal noise production. However, you may notice compromised performance under poor lighting conditions. We managed to solve it by taking advantage of the improved cross-type sensitivity of the central autofocus point. Unfortunately, Nikon D3500 isn't the best bet for practicing action photography because of the slow burst shooting speed of 5 frames per second. On the other hand, its speed is decent enough for shooting under other stationary conditions. We found the metering system reasonable with consistent exposures. Moreover, there is an exposure compensation button for quickly adjusting the exposure when the need arises. Similarly, Nikon's auto white balance system is a treat to work with. It performs exceptionally well under artificial lighting. Thanks to the bright clear viewfinder, you get vibrant images with pleasing colors, while the details are well displayed on the LCD screen. Battery life is a plus point as it lasts for more than 1550 shots. More than enough for an intense shoot. Armed with an incredible 24.2 megapixel sensor and no optical low-pass filter, the images produce display an exceptional level of detail. There are no issues with image degradation even at higher sensitivities of about ISO 1600. With a great dynamic range and noise-free images, you'll surely be satisfied with the overall results. Nikon 3500 is the ideal camera to get your hands on if you're new to the DSLR world. It's the perfect combination of long-lasting battery life and well-designed menus that aid beginners throughout the journey. Surprisingly, all of these features come at an affordable value.
At number 5 it's Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Da. We were desperately waiting for Canon EOS 6D Mark II because its great full-frame predecessor had vast room for improvement. Fortunately, Mark II features some major upgrades along with some additional features to make your images look stunning. The structure is somewhat similar to the original Mark 6D with an aluminum alloy and polycarbonate build. The robust body features dust and moisture seals for protection against unpredictable weather conditions but gives off a rather casual vibe, something professionals run away from. Moreover, it is smaller and lighter than 6D but includes a sculpted grip for secure handling. If you've worked with the older version, you won't face any issues getting used to a similar layout. The original 6D comprised an outdated 11-point autofocus system, thus, we were delighted to see an improvement in this department. It employs a 45-point autofocus system, with all the points being cross-type except the center having a dual cross-type point. As a result, the system delivers an extremely precise performance. Moreover, Canon allows users to control the autofocus setup to a great extent, with almost 16 options to choose from. There weren't any issues under low light either, which makes 6D a great candidate for concert photography. Furthermore, the camera features an upgraded burst rate of 6.5 fps, which is adequate for enthusiast photographers. It is capable of shooting up to 21 RAW files or 150 JPEG frames before slowing down. Canon features a 7560 pixel RGB plus IR metering sensor with 63 zone evaluative, center weighted, and partial metering options. This system is known for delivering a consistently great performance, and you'd hardly find yourself opting for the post-production exposure compensation. However, keep in mind that it applies weightage to the active autofocus point, so a slight movement in the points may result in two different exposures. There aren't any issues with the auto white balance mode. It's great at delivering neutrality and warmth for natural looking images. Moving on, the 26.2 megapixel sensor was beyond our expectations, as most cameras at this price include a mere 24 megapixel sensor. We loved the images at higher ISO sensitivities, as there wasn't any sign of image deterioration. Canon EOS 6D Mark II is a well-rounded camera and significantly better than its predecessor. However, no camera is perfect, and Mark comes with its own share of issues, including poor autofocus coverage and a less-than-decent dynamic range. We hope that you found our list of the best cameras for car photography useful. Shooting cars or automotive photography may be a tiring task for many, but the right camera makes your job several times easier. However, you need to make sure that the desired camera meets the event's requirements and your budget. Car photography becomes much easier if you select the camera according to the cars you'd have to deal with on a regular basis.